We're going to be learning how to animate your portfolio post or your designs in Adobe Express Beta. So this is like a Creative Cloud library that I set up in Adobe Illustrator that I can also access within the Adobe Express Beta app. Go to new.express.adobe.com. You go to your stuff and you go to libraries right here. I'm going to go over to my library, which is called Green Tea Matcha. I can click on use as brand and Adobe Express Beta will create that brand for you. So I didn't have to export anything at all. The process was seamless and I love it. I think I want to make like an Instagram story sort of a thing. So I'm going to select that as my size. I really love that there's this template panel right over here on your navigation pen and you can just write matcha here or whatever your keyword is and anything with a crown icon is a premium asset. So make sure to use free assets if you're using the free version right over here i can click ungroup and everything is now on its own layer i want to replace it with my logo go to brands and libraries and go to green tea matcha which you literally just created the alignment guides are so cool because now i can see that the distance between the objects placed on this canvas are equal and i think i want to add like some kind of animation to the logo maybe it's like a looping animation like a breathe i want it to be subtle so I can go ahead, select the looping animation and change the intensity of it. So you don't have to keyframe anything. You don't have to think about what you want to change or what parameter you want to change because Adobe Express has that already. We can probably just like club all these. So I'm going to group that here and then I'm going to do like an in animation. So like a bungee perhaps or like a drift. You click over here and here is where you can click on the plus button. It's going to create another page. So I'll probably do like a video, okay? And then maybe I'll just do like matcha and see what comes up. So perhaps we'll add that. And while this is landscape, you can go to fill video and it's going to fill the whole space. This button which says add as a scene and it's automatically going to add it as a second scene in this particular timeline. So we're going to add some text. I'm just going to copy paste the information that I spoke about. So I think I want to do like a fade animation, which is like a classic works every time. So now I'm going to go ahead and add one more text, but I don't want to keep adding this animation every single time. How do I do that? Quick fix pro tip right here. You copy paste your text and that's how you can create this whole thing. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I hope you learned some pro tips in today's stream with me, your host, Annika. See you later. Have a great Wednesday and bye for now.